As many of you know, I love my children very much. So much, in fact, that I want to hold their hands and show them the way through this world. Be there to guide them, to give them direction, to let them know that I'm here and everything's going to be all right. So every night when I tuck my kids into bed, I snuggle up Ethan and I tuck him into bed. And I snuggle up Jackson and I tuck him into bed. I snuggle up Brooklyn and I tuck her into bed. And then I read them this poem. I call this a clear message. My darling angels, tonight as I tuck you into bed, I will tell you of a few ways you might end up dead. The moment that death comes to collect may be a moment that you least suspect. It could happen while playing hide-and-go-seek, or you could be eaten alive by a malnourished sheep. Maybe at the zoo a bear rips out your guts. Perhaps you break your neck because, well, <laughs> you're a klutz. It may be blatant, or it may be discreet. It could happen tomorrow during Sesame Street. During a head-on collision, your seatbelt could break. Mr. Voorhees could sacrifice you to Camp Crystal Lake. Kicked in the brain by a mule, or even dismembered by a bull. It possibly it could happen at your next pediatric checkup. You could even drown from an overloaded sippy cup. Dropped and left for dead by a serial killer dressed as a clown, or killed by the Burger King and his fancy crown. While playing at the park, a Japanese hornet could sting you on your thigh. Or while eating some Scooby-Doo mac and cheese that was way, way, way too dry. A turkey could eat you for Thanksgiving. Possibly you're bludgeoned by a handsome lemming. One botched ding-dong ditch could leave you impaled on a gnome. Furthermore, a rogue boomerang could decapitate your dome. Now, my precious darling, snuggle up so tight. But don't wake the boogeyman or you could die tonight.